you can access Unreal Engine 5.1's new pattern tool by selecting your object, going to selection mode and changing it to modeling mode. And under create, you will see pattern. That will open up another panel. And as you can see, which I think is pretty cool, we have shapes, linear pattern, rotation, translation, scale, and output. Let's go to shape. You can choose line, grid, or circle. You can hide source. Okay, there it is. Didn't really notice that. Seed. Can't really tell because everything is uniform. Next up, we have radio pattern by count, step size. Oh, you know what? Skipped plane. So this is cool as well. Spacing mode by count, by steps, by pack. See radius. I guess by pack, spacing mode by pack. It packs them as close together as possible. Step size. I'm not sure if it would be really cool. I'm not sure if this tool is connected to the blueprints. Sort of something like geometry nodes. If it's not, it's probably it probably isn't. If it's not already connected to the scripting, it probably will in the future. So we have radius. We have the start angle. We have the end angle. Shift angle. Okay, so you could shift it. Okay. Oriented. Oh, okay. I think this is probably my favorite new feature. Start rotation. Let's change that to pack. Start rotation, end rotation. Hopefully this doesn't crash because it's actually been crashing a few times for me. 5.1. Let's see how that grid looks like. Okay. Let's start translation in translation. Look at that. <laughs> and I guess the same thing with as far as size. I mean, this is actually pretty cool. Separated actors emit a separate actor for each pattern element. So that's good. Convert to dynamic emit its static mesh pattern elements as dynamic meshes. This could actually be pretty good for level design or at least, you know, sketching out stuff. And let's click accept. Well, it's chugging. So I guess this is just a, a huge mess. Uh, <laughs> a huge mess. It is. It, it's a mess. I guess this is a just a huge mesh. Click this video right here for the next feature.